Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been forever since I uploaded. I really wanted to do every Wednesday, but I just started work again a couple weeks ago and it's just been non-stop. Uh, the last week I, you know, I started at like, I was leaving the house at 9.30ish and didn't get home until like midnight. Um, so not much time to edit or film anything. I can't film anything at work, so. Yeah, um, I'm working right now in the wardrobe department on a TV series, which has been really, really fun. It's like kind of a dream come true, um, but it does take over like my entire life. So whatever, um, today is going to be a relaxed, really, really chill day. I'm going to a wardrobe sale this morning for the Netflix series Tiny Pretty Things, which is like a ballet series. Um, I think there's going to be some cool stuff there, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to go check that out, it's a really nice sunny day out, so I'm going to try to get out for a walk and everything. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take you through my lazy day. I know all my other vlogs before have been like, I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this, but you know, I, uh, that was when I was not working and today I'm so, so drained. Honestly, you probably won't see this video until like a week or two weeks after it's filmed because I'm not sure when I'm gonna have time to actually edit this and make it cohesive but you know at least I'm filming something at least I'm in front of the camera that's like a big win for me <laughs> um, all right so I'm just gonna finish my coffee and then get ready and head out I'm back from what will probably be my only adventure today and it was an okay sale like it wasn't great everything there was like kind of fast fashion-y it was a lot of like Zara H&M Forever 21 I guess because the TV show was more kind of like teenagers and stuff they just kind of dressed people appropriately for how teenagers would dress so it wasn't a lot of like great stuff um, so yeah, I've just made my latte here, and yeah, I'll show you, I got, I did get some really nice, these are like dance pants, which I really like because I like um, workout pants that are like a little bit thinner, um, but also kind of baggy and don't like cling to you when you're working out. I also got this, which is kind of cool, I mean it's just from Zara, but I think it's kind of unique, and this is also from Zara. It's nice. I don't usually buy from um, like fast fashion brands, but since it's secondhand, like it's already it would just go to the garbage probably if uh, if I didn't buy it. So I don't feel so bad about that. Um, I'm going to just relax for a little bit. It's such a nice day out, but like honestly, I'm so tired. I'm just gonna kick back for a little bit and then maybe get up to something later. I just took an unexpected nap at like 2 p.m. and I just woke up and it's like 5.30. So I'm gonna make this a weekend vlog instead of a day because um, I haven't done much today. <laughs> it's good I think it's really important to just like let yourself rest when you need to and even if you're not productive that day like sometimes we just need it uh, I don't know I find like sometimes psychologically it's a little hard to work all the time and feel like you're not doing anything of your own projects when you have things to work on and then when you finally have time off there's like a pressure to do a bunch um, but yeah, today, like, I just, I can't, um, so I'm just gonna focus on trying to save my energy for tomorrow and Sunday, and I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning just so that I'm set up for whatever I need to do. I'm gonna wash my sheets, because that's always something that I find just kind of, like, resets me after a long week, and my space is really messy because, like, I've just basically been coming home and throwing my clothes wherever and passing out, so... I'm gonna do a little bit of that because that helps me uh, mentally, 
But other than that, I don't think I'm going to work on anything today, really. Um, maybe I'll just do like a little yoga and stretching later. Welcome to Saturday. I didn't end up doing any of the things I said I was going to do last night. I didn't even do stretching or yoga. I didn't clean. I watched a movie. Uh, I watched Emma Night with Kate Winslet and Saoirse Ronan. It was really good. It was very, very, very slow, but it was kind of appropriate for the mood that I was in last night and got an early night. And today I'm feeling a little bit more refreshed, um, even though my little dog woke me up at 5 a.m. or something ridiculous. Oh yeah, and it was his birthday yesterday, which was very cute. He turned 11, so he's an old boy now. Um, yeah, so today I am actually going to do the cleaning that I need to do, and I'm going to take some time for myself as well. Like, I'm just going to read. I'm reading um, Norwegian Wood right now. It's really good. So I'm going to get a couple pages of that in. <laughs> um, and then I think I'll work on some sewing as well. I'm not going to push myself today, but I do want to get back into my creative space because I've been out of it for the past two weeks, basically. And it really, that's, that's what feeds my soul. But I need to clean first because I can't work in this space. It's just, you might have seen yesterday in my clips, like there's clothes everywhere. It's just not good. So I'm going to do that. Let's get started. Okay, so I've decided that's all the cleaning that is going to happen today because I'm really tired and I want to get a little bit of something done so I don't feel like all that I did this weekend was just like sleep and clean. Um, so I'm going to try to finally finish these two shirts that I've been working on for like multiple weeks. Uh, this one has been frustrating me because of the sleeves. I don't know, I just like sometimes can't seem to get things right. but. I don't want to give up on it because as I try to do, I finish every single project even if I hate it because it's always a learning experience no matter what. So I did do these with like a rolled foot, like I have this um, sewing machine foot that kind of like is supposed to feed through the fabric and just make this perfect little rolled end. but. It didn't work very well, so I'm just going to do a regular seam, and I think that that will look just good. Um, yeah, it's interesting being back at work because, like, for a couple months I was just off, you know, doing my creative thing and uh, making videos and I really enjoy this like I wish I could just do this full time but I got a really really good job opportunity that I don't think would have come up again um, so I decided to take it because I just yeah it's just, it was just too good to, to pass up I've been wanting a job in the costumes department of uh, the film company that kind of works a lot in Toronto for a long time and this show was looking for someone and even though I don't have any like formal experience um, on set or whatever they kind of took a chance on me um, so I am really happy about that and it is like yeah it's kind of a, a dream job as they say I mean 
My dream job is kind of no job. I love just everything I do in my spare time and like I can always find something to do. It's not going to be an issue. Like if I could spend my whole life just reading and making art and doing things that would make me super happy. But money is a thing and <laughs> I also did just apply to art school abroad. So I think I really need to focus on making some money right now because I don't know if I'm going to be able to work when I'm in school. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find a little bit of uh, work placement or something, but we'll see. Um, anyway, so the good thing about this industry is that you work really hard for like quite a few months and then you can take time off because you do make enough money that you can just like do it occasionally instead of doing it all year round. So that's nice. And you can also kind of like hop out whenever you want. Like you're not tied into a contract or anything. Yeah, I really enjoy being on set. It's a totally different world and it's a totally different schedule. And I'm such a creature of habit. Like I try to wake up at the same time every day, go to bed at the same time, eat at the same time. Like I really have a set schedule even during like the first month couple months of quarantine when it was like March and no one knew what was happening and it was like terrible outside. I very quickly fell into a routine like it's very easy and natural for me. And this is the complete opposite of routine like you never know when you're gonna be working it's hard to even know like basically we get our start time the night before. Um, it's usually around the same time as we started that day but sometimes it can be like four hours later. Um, and then you end up going through the night, so it's a little confusing. Also, I just love cooking my own food and everything there is like catered. I could bring my own food, but like with the schedule there's just no time. Um, like I would have to make food when I come home at midnight and <laughs> I'm just not doing that. I just kind of crawl into bed. So yeah, that's been fun. It, it's definitely a, a big change of pace and a good learning experience. I've learned a lot about clothes and film in general. So, I am a happy person right now. I'm just not doing as much of this as I would like to be doing. But the time will come, my friends. <laughs> the time will come. Just keep watching me. Um, yeah, and other than that, like, I mean, that's kind of been taking over my whole life right now, but I also have been doing a little bit more modeling lately, which has been really fun. I really enjoy that. Like, I mean, obviously I love fashion and I love to take pictures as well. And just being around like a creative environment is really exciting for me. And you know, I, I really strongly believe in uh, more representation in the fashion world. So. As a trans man, I, uh, I like to put my own image out there. It feels kind of like selfish to say things like that, but I mean, if no one does it, then it's not going to happen. Um, so just putting my face out in the world and hoping that good things come out of it and that you know it'll bring opportunities for other people as well. Um, yeah. This is gonna look good. I don't know. I'm honestly so done with this shirt. Like, I just want it to be finished. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's not even really like my style, but it was fun while well, it lasted. And now it's not really fun anymore. I'm so sick of ironing. I do it like so much at work now, too. I have been filming like a how-to video on making a shirt, but uh, I haven't finished it yet because <laughs> I haven't finished the shirt yet. So that'll be up in, uh, I don't know, two months. <laughs> I don't even want to like give an advanced schedule on what's going to happen, honestly, when I'm going to upload because I feel like I'm just making false promises at this time. <laughs> I can't tell you what's going to happen in my life.
Here we are on another episode of Productive Procrastination. I am steaming all of my shirts because, uh, why not? <laughs> why not? Better than doing the things that I actually have to do, right? Speaking of productive procrastination, why don't we make some candles? Okay, so I haven't done that or like any exercise in so long. I think I felt my hips crack like every single time I moved, but I'm glad I did it. Alright, so it's pretty much time for bed because tomorrow I have to be in the building for 5 a.m. I'm not a morning person, this is not going to be fun, but towards the end of the week it's going to be like super late night, so it'll all balance out. <laughs> it's probably super shiny right now because I just like covered myself in rose oil. My skin has been super dry and like I'm getting all this irritation from wearing a mask all day, but whatever. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me for this weekend. It was super nice and relaxing and I'm glad I got to spend some time with family and friends and eat some really good food. Um, so I'll catch you next week. Hopefully I will actually be able to film. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep on supporting me. I really, really appreciate it.